What makes Nathan Drake Nathan Drake? Is it the fact that he falls out of airplanes? Is it the fact that he wears a ring around his neck? No. No, no. It's his characterization, his demeanor, his personality. Yeah, this Uncharted trailer is not doing it for me. I was not someone who was hating on the idea of Uncharted. I didn't even hate on the idea of Mark Wahlberg as Sully. But yeah, this trailer kind of ruined all my expectations for it. This looks like the most generic action movie ever. If, if you didn't put Uncharted in the trailer name or anywhere on the marketing here, who, who would know that's what it was? Because Tom Holland is just acting like generic Tom Holland. He's just Spider-Man again. Mark Wahlberg had no Sully aspects. And yeah, I mean, it seems like they're pickpocketing a few cool moments from the games for some cool set pieces, which is a good idea on paper. But what really makes Uncharted, Uncharted is its personality. And uh, yeah, that's uh, quite lacking here. And that's the big issue with all this. I mean, even the action looks very average. I mean, they could have showed us some like fun shootouts, you know, some, some dope climbing, like, I don't know. They're just showing us a few set pieces. And I know it was just a teaser trailer, but this movie's coming out, what? February? So, I mean, we're not that far away. And also the humor, which is, you know, pretty critical of Uncharted. I mean, the writing here just seems like, oh man, these jokes did not land. None of this landed. Even, even fucking Nathan Drake didn't land, clearly, because he's, uh, fallen. <laughs> Oof. Not much to say here. This is just kind of a disappointing trailer and I'm scared this is going to be very average as you know PlayStation's first I think exclusive game movie thing this is not looking good you got the cast of all stars greats you have the generic action you have uh 80s rock and roll song in the background of a trailer and uh yeah this just this, this does not look good hoping for the best but uh now unfortunately expecting the worst should have went with Nathan Fillion.